Esco. Hmm? Happen on any interesting contracts lately? Yeah, not lately. But about half a year back, I slew a manticore in Creighton, in a forest. Quick son of a bitch, that one. Jumped out of the undergrowth so fast my medallion didn't have time to give me so much as one twitch. Won't show you the scar. Too big a boy for that. Get a nice sum at least? <laughs> Not one copper. Showed the beast's head to the elder in the nearest village. He swore on all the gods it was the first he'd heard of the monster. What about you? Besides the griffin, same old, same old. Neckers, ghouls, drowners. Haven't seen a manticore in... Must be a year now. See ya. Can we talk? What about? You haven't changed a lick. That disappointment I hear? No. Surprise, maybe. Most grow gentler with age. Seems you're growing pricklier. Mom always said I was different. Had some other adjectives in mind, but different will do. See you later. Yeah, take care. Geralt? Thanks, Yen. See you later. Yes? What is it, Wolf? No offense, but why all the construction? So the roof tiles don't drop on our heads? Roof tiles usually fall from the roof. You're putting up walls, rebuilding the fortress, for three people. Why? Because I remember how it was, Wolf, before the massacre. We were twenty, and that's just teachers. As for candidates... I can't turn back the clock, I know. But I refuse to just sit and stare at these ruins. I met with Amir. Any crowned heads you haven't met? A few. Hoping it stays that way. Remember the first war with Nilfgaard? Battle of Sodden? The North, all of it, fought together. Tamaria, Redania, Kedwin, Eden. And the mages were heroes. On the field first, then in ballots. Not much left of that world. See you later, Vesemir.
The curse that held Uma proved hard to lift, but Yennefer and the Witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but elf, and an elven sage at that. Avalach, for this was his name, was the elven mage who had helped Ciri flee the hunt, then hidden her away on the Isle of Mists. Brand those swords, but I prefer me trusty axe. It is Lorgan's birthday tomorrow. I have no clue what to give her. Maybe a nice to get hired on a ship. My dad's all fighting the black ones. Best blade's not worth shite if a weak arm is swinging it, eh? Wanted to talk. Any news of Yelmar? His venture going well? Nah. Tempted after all, eh? If you're itching to join him, it might not be too late. Hmm. Maybe I should visit Unvik. Ask at the new port. Clan Todorok survivors lie around there. They refuse to hunt the giant, but they're willing to talk. Sorry, remind me. Where'd Ceres go? Speakerog. Got it in her head that she must help Uderic. How? I have the same question. He's a brave man. Some say hot-tempered and hasty, but... If Ceres wanted glory, she'd have done better to sail with Yalmar. As it is, who knows what ideas bat about in her head. What's new in Skellige? Of late, look seaward and you'll see their son on a sail, staring right back. We've yet to capture any of their crew, but only a fool wouldn't know they're planning something. This isn't easy, but I need to ask you a favor. A big one. Tell me, friend. Siri, I know where she is, but I also know that as soon as I reach her, the Wild Hunt will know I did. They'll come after us, attack, and we'll need to respond with strength. Can I count on you? The Black Ones first, now Wraiths. Such is life. Bring her here, and we'll face them in battle. What's this about the Nilfgaardians? Of late, look seaward and you'll see their son on a sail, staring right back. We've yet to capture any of their crew, but only a fool wouldn't know they're planning something. But fear not! We'll banish the Black Ones and the Wild Hunt. Two birds with one skeleton axe. <laughs> Ciri will be safe in Kertrold. Can't risk your men's lives. Kaer Morhen, we fight them there, nowhere else. Kaer Morhen is hundreds of miles away. To move an army there would take weeks. Not to mention, I'd expose the Isles to Nilfgaard's blows. Geralt, forgive me, but I cannot do it. I understand. Won't take up any more of your time. Farewell. Wait! Won't let you leave empty-handed. I'll help as I can. Come with me. Beautiful craftsmanship. Got a talented smith. Not I. King Erland on Crate did. Erlen Stonefist? So this is Winter's Blade. Thought it was a legend. Forged in Mahakam, tempered in dragon fire. Been in the Oncrate family for centuries. And now, it's yours. Thank you. This can't be easy for you. I appreciate it all the more. May it serve you well. Send those specters back where they came from. That's my intention. Farewell. Whoever's got 
guts and made him run around a tree till he ran out. My guts? Yes. Fucking to return one day. You twisted me or brand those swords, but I prefer me trusty act. Come on. Come on, Roach. Nomadic slayer of beasts and monsters. Sound of axes and saws, the air thick with the smell of sand. Hey, you moderns, stop pestering me with this confounded It's cough. the way of things. Trees are always the first to fall in a war. Do they even know how long a yew grows to maturity? That if they cut them all down, they'll have to wait two generations for more. I think they give a stink about Pleased the with yourself, they murderer. Will come before two generations pass. Can we talk? Yen and I went to Hindersfjall. Oh? Did you learn anything? Siri came through Lofoten. She was wounded when she arrived. Villagers nursed her back to health. Sadly, the wild hunt was on her trail. Followed her there. Siri managed to escape with the villagers. I know. You needn't finish. I later spoke to those who survived. Suffice to say, Siri was fortunate to escape. I trust you'll find her soon. You were made a Hierophant. Congratulations. I thank you. The Skelliger Circle chose me years ago, about the time when the old disputes between the clans were reigniting. Job's been mainly politics then. Aye, but I've not minded. Since time immemorial, the Druids have wandered betwixt the clans, keeping endless feuds in check. We care for equilibrium, the balance of all things, not just trout populations in streams. We're lucky the Jarls always valued us as advisors. The war. Curious to know your opinion. Well, I believe Emia's chosen a poor time to wage it. Hard to find any better as I see it, with the North now in disarray. The North is weak, true. But I've the impression the Emperor is dealing with some domestic strife. Far too much to start a war. Radovid is a madman, but a cunning one. He's certain to take advantage. The Wild Hunt will attack Kaer Morhen soon. Gonna need your help. The Wild Hunt? Are you certain? So... Uh, you found Siri. I know where she is, and the Wild Hunt will also learn that as soon as I find her. I see. I shall pack immediately. Leave tomorrow at the latest. Thank you. No need. I raised the girl, and I've still a duty to her. I shall see you at Kaer Mohar.
constant sound of axes and saws, the air thick with the smell of sap. The Yarls are building new longships for you. It's, it's the way of life. All living the trees are always the first to fall in a war. Do they even know how long? Come on. I recognize your type a mile away. We must have angered her somehow. Just how would that be? We make offerings, we pray. But the goddess sees more. She knows what rolls around our heads. What we think. We'll be done in a moment. And then, a giant sea snake swam up and bit my arm off. The gods have spoken. A sacrifice is needed. To my mind. It's about you defeating a snake, yeah. No. They demand a sacrifice. I'm sure of it. It's time. We must wait for a clearer sign. At least till your next dreaming. I don't need no more signs. Looking for Ceres. Heard she stayed here. On Craig's daughter. Aye, she was here. Where is she now? Hmm. What? Ceres. Where's Ceres? Dunno. Dunno. Enough of the questions. I'm looking for Ceres. Any idea where she might be? I hope she's gone to the village. It's been a time since she visited. She wished to speak to our folk, but... But? I worry she might have gone to Jarl Udalric's old family home, though I tried to dissuade her. Clan Brockvar have something to hide from the Oncrate? No, it's not that. The house is a strange place. Many believe it haunted. Great. I love haunted houses. But why would Ceres go there? Before she left, she had a long talk with the Jarl. Seems she wanted to help him. With what? <coughs> Forgive me. I must go to him. A promising start. <laughs> Remember when that storm caught us in Old Bay? Aye, like it were yesterday. Off come fell overboard in here, sir. Dead keys here for the fush. <clears throat> we'll stick together. It'll all work out. Yeah. 
the Ceruses. something heavy. Geralt? Why are you here? Came to look for you. Croc's worried. Taking you home. I won't go until I help Ulrich. The sword! Where's the sword? I've, I've got to go back! You're not going anywhere. I carried you out of there a moment ago half dead. I have to! You have to tell me what's going on. Why'd you go in there? I wanted to help Ulrich. Sure, he was acting strangely, but I don't see how your stroll through a haunted house will help him. It would have, if I'd only found the sword. So what's this sword all about? It's Brockvar, the ancestral sword of Udelric's clan. I needed to lift the curse that holds Udelric. A curse? Long story. Years ago, Udelric and his little brother butted heads over the sword. As custom has it, the clan's sword should go to the firstborn son, Udelric. But his father gave Brockfart to his little brother, Aki. Huh. <laughs> Serious insult in these lands. Serious enough for Udelric to break a sacred law here in Skellige. He openly questioned his father's decision. Guessing the old Jarl couldn't let it pass. They chained Udelric to a pile, up to his waist in the sea. Spent three days like that. When his punishment ended, he and Aki sailed out to fish. Most likely their father thought some hard work at sea together would fix things between them. We use sea outings as cures for many things. Sadly, this time it didn't work. A storm broke out and Aki fell overboard. Udelric had his hands full with the sails. Didn't hear his brother until it was too late. Didn't hear? Or didn't want to hear? Some folk on the isle had the same doubt. But none would mention it aloud. What do you think? Did Udelric kill Aki? I don't want to jump to any conclusions. But I do think whatever happened at sea that day, well, it's affecting Udelric right now. Powerfully so. And it could have something to do with that sword. What did you plan to do with the sword? I thought Aki's ghost would want it back. The brother's ghost? Long as I remember, folk have said Udelric's the chosen one. The one the gods speak to. I believed it once. But now, considering certain things, I think he's just haunted. And it's his dead brother that's haunting him. Daring theory. Not breaking any of your laws just by thinking it. Don't care. I don't believe it's the gods talking. Have you seen him? He's covered in scars. Thought he earned those in battle. If you call the strife in his heart and head a battle, I've asked him about it. He said the voices command him to hurt himself for the glory of the gods. I think not. It's not the gods, it's Aki. So you believe Aki's getting his revenge, because Udelric let him die? I've talked to Yort. He swears Udelric didn't start hearing voices till after Aki's death. And I don't think Yort's mistaken. He knew both those boys from the cradle. I think we've to give Brockvar to Aki, and he'll leave Udelric alone. Not a bad idea, on condition it's a ghost we're dealing with. But something doesn't add up. What's that? Aki drowned at sea, said so yourself. But the ghost haunts this house. Aki and Udelric both lived here. Maybe that's why. Thanks for your help, Geralt. But I've got to get the sword. Out of the question. I'll get it. Really? Thanks. So I can go see Udelric? No chance. You're weak. Might pass out again along the way. Wait here, we'll go together.
this about? Find a sword? I found it. Let's go. After you then. You and my da, you were mates once, right? Hope we still are. But, well, I heard you fell out over something or someone. Talking about that story with Yennefer? Long time ago, that. In fact, that was before Croc met the woman who'd be your mother. But you and Yennefer had already met? <sighs> Uh, things were never cut and dried with Yen. What is it about her? What is it that draws you? Dunno. Maybe, uh, it's cause I've never chosen comfort and ease. The calm and the quiet. And? Son on the throne. No Pendle watches over the land for your sex. The blood of kings. Where is Yennefer? Hmm. Don't know. Why do you ask? I just wonder why she let you come here alone. What do you mean, let me? Nothing, not a thing. Just got the impression she doesn't like to let you out of her sight. Look, there they are. Hardly bright out here. Stings the eyes. The fresh air will do you good. The gods won't be pleased. <clears throat> Jarl. Our guests, remember. What happened to your hand? I sacrificed it to the gods. Forgive him, Jarl. Geralt's got more to learn about our customs. We're close to the gods in Skellige. And the chummier you are, the greater the offering you make. It's our belief that the greatest thing a man can offer is his pain, his suffering, the pure sacrifice. To hear the gods is a gift, not a sacrifice. These voices you hear. The gods, their voices. It's not the gods. Watch your words, foreigner. You're in Skalliger, our land, and we revere the gods here. If you weren't on Kreit's guest... Jarl, the Witcher surely meant no offense. Let us hear what he has to say. More likely, this is somehow related to your dead brother. I told Geralt of Aki. We concluded that... That the gods are angry at you, yet he's the reason. That's why you have to apologize to Aki himself. I... I didn't want to. Aki fell in the water. I... The gods will be angry. Let me help you, and I promise to do everything I can to keep from angering the gods. Heed the Witcher Jarl. Make amends to Aki, and you'll surely please the gods. What would you have me do? Remember where Aki fell in the water? Near the Isle's eastern end, by the mouth of the bay, current had swept us towards Ulula's Needle. It's a dangerous spot. Treacherous eddies swallow a handful of sailors each year. We need to sail there. Aki's ghost won't rest until Brockvar's returned to his remains. No. No, no, no. The gods, they'll be angry. I feel it. Fear not, Jarl. The gods love you, and they loved Aki. Surely they want this. Well, maybe I can sail there. 
The sword should be returned. That's what matters. Makes no difference by whose hand. What do I look for? Did Aki have anything that'll help me recognize him? Something he was wearing that could survive all this time underwater? I... Our clan rang. That ought to be enough. I'm off. Look at swords on your back. These continental dandies come a-struttin', then we gotta drag their corpses out of the inn. I never knew a man as brave and as good. Why'd you do it? I... What is this? Ludwig. The voice has commanded him to poke out his eye. What? 
Why'd you do it? Such was the will of the gods. A sacrifice for Aki. What did the gods want, exactly? Do you remember? What did they tell you? They were angry. A voice said, you vile wretch. You didn't help Aki, and now you failed to sail out to beg his forgiveness. Poke out your eye, suffer, and regret the evil you've wrought. When did the gods speak to you? Right after I left? Shortly after. Sleep came over me, so I lay down. Twas then they revealed their will to me. You always asleep when they speak to you? Always. What do you see then? Do they try to summon you anywhere specific? My old home. They command me to light torches, then speak from the shadows. The gods ever show you their form, or are they always just a shadow? Once, I steeled myself, gathered my courage, and in my dream made my torch burn bright. I saw a hazy figure sitting in shadow then. The gods always demand you offer them your suffering? Only that pleases them, so they ask for more and more. The gods speak from the shadows, you said. Is that why you don't allow any lights in here? In my dreams. At times I see their form, when the torches burn bright. To see the gods is a great honor. Maybe with more light in your house, you'd see them when you're awake as well. Lesser men are unworthy. They cannot gaze upon their faces. I returned the sword, but nothing's changed. It's not his brother's ghost that haunts him, tortures him. What's wrong with him? Can we talk somewhere in private? The guest room. Come. Well? Know what it is? It's a Heim. A post-conjunction creature, very rare and very dangerous. It latches on to men who commit vile deeds. It feeds on their pain for years, fueling their guilty conscience. In the end, Himes force their victims to mutilate themselves. Sounds unpleasant. Any way to defeat it? Hmm. Two methods that work, in theory. Witcher's beast juries say you have to spend a night in the Heim's lair, with the affected individual. The haunted house, you mean? It's hardly cozy, but I wager you've slept in worse conditions. It's not about sleeping. You've got to draw the Heim out. It has to emerge from the shadows, show itself. Can't hurt it otherwise. But it's sure to give as good as it gets. You've seen Udelric. It won't be an easy fight. What's this other way? They say a Heim can be tricked. You have to pretend to do something horrible. Then it'll move on to you as its new victim. When it realizes it's been tricked, it'll be forced to leave. Great. Let's try it. Don't know anyone who's pulled it off. Well, maybe no one's thought of a trick that was good enough. I know you're doubtful. But we should at least try to find a way to trick the Heim. Might not be as simple as it seems. Besides, neither method's perfect. What do you mean? Udelric might not survive an entire night in the Heim's lair. You think the Heim... Would it try to kill Udelric? No, that would mean losing its host. But Udelric could just... expire. He's weak, and the house will summon painful memories. Whereas to the Heim, that'll be an opportunity. The more pain the Heim causes Udelric, the stronger it'll grow. And the more dangerous it will be to you. Hmm. And what about the other method? The Heim's a demon, and demons are notoriously hard to fool. Plus, the trickster can't know it's a trick. What?
The Heim attacks those who have a guilty conscience, truly believe they committed a foul deed. The Heim strengthens their regret and feeds on it. Meaning, if the new host doesn't feel true sorrow, the Heim will sense that. Yes. So, for this to work, if either of us has an idea, we can't tell the other one about it. Exactly. Both methods seem risky, but I still think we should try the trick. Don't know that I'm convinced. Just please don't tell me you have to consult Yennefer on such things as well. If we fail to think of anything, we can always try the Witcher's Way. Hmm. Trying the trick can't hurt. Good decision. Haunted house. The Heim's Lair. Only place where anything like this could work. After you, then. No reason to delay. Anything? Yes, I have a plan. One that just might work. Can I get any details? You've got to wait for me here. I won't be long. Uh, anything else? Said yourself, you can't know the details. So no, nothing else. You simply gotta trust me. Hope you know what you're doing. So do I. So, can we start? I'm ready. All right, I'll be back soon. In the meantime, get a fire going in the oven. Over there! She's running to the old house! Grab her! Taken. You must put him in the oven. Trust me. Take care not to hurt the child. Give me the bait! In the oven! Throw him in the oven! Witcher committed no crime. You'll find neither despair nor guilt here. Only shock and relief. You've been tricked.
It's over. Over? We tricked the Heim. It thought I'd killed your child, abandoned you to haunt me, feed on my conscience. But when it saw the babe was whole, unharmed, it had to go. You're free, Jarl. Free? The Heim's gone. So are the voices that tortured you. Let's get out of here. What's happening? My head's spinning. I'm spinning in a maelstrom. Geralt, you said it was over. That's just fatigue. In time, his mind will return to normal. What? What will I do now? You'll be fine. Key is to not give in to self-pity. I feel as if someone's torn something from me. That's normal. The Heim was a parasite. Bonds between parasites and hosts can be strong. That's why you feel empty now. Give it a few days, weeks, you'll be fine. Thank you. I think. Farewell. I'll go with him. He seems confused. Good idea. Then what? What are your plans? I'll stay a few days, make sure he's healthy. And you? Gonna stay on speaker, Rog? Don't know yet. Gotta gather my thoughts. I'm sure Yennefer must be grown impatient. What is it with you and Yennefer? Mentioned her several times already. Nothing. I've just noticed that you're often of one mind. Saying I'm henpecked. Not that you're especially different. Seems to happen to all men. Take a rowdy Skelliger, a brave knight or a tough witcher. You all end up wrapped around some woman's finger. Though I will admit you're not all bad. You trusted me, a complete stranger nearly. Few would have had the courage. I appreciate it if you didn't tell everybody in the Isles. They'll think I enjoy being dominated. <laughs> Farewell, Geralt. See you, Ceres. Got a minute? Sad when someone like Bran dies. Everyone says he was a good king. It's not fitting to speak elsewise about the dead. Mean you don't agree? Bran spent his life at sea. And while he was away, old feuds flared, devouring the isles from the inside. Folk grew furious, came when there was no one to mediate, resolve quarrels. But then Bran would return with loot, throw a feast, let the mead flow in rivers, and everyone loved him again. Got a delicate matter I wanted to bring up. Need your help. What is it? Crox mentioned Ciri to you. He must have. Have you found her? Not yet, but I'm close. Problem is, as soon as I get to her, the Wild Hunt will probably be able to locate us, quickly. So I'll want to take her to Kaer Morin. Battle the hunt there. 
I'm looking for allies. You can count on me, Geralt. Seen as the race for the crown settled. I understand. never crumble. Serve her who is virgin, mother, and crone. 